everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today I'm going to look at the Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series Valkyrie action figure. Now this is the last figure from Series 2 for me to get. For whatever reason, this particular figure was not released with the rest of the wave. I kept hearing they were at the Target stores. I hit a couple targets a couple days ago, no success. Went back to the Foosh forums and they said they were located in the promo aisle, the Christmas area, so I went back to Target, found the pallet drop, it was covered with a bunch of other displays, moved them around, and found all the new Fortnite figures I was looking for. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. So you can see, Epic Games, Fortnite, it just 8 plus. This is the Legendary series, meaning these are six inch scale figures. You can see Valkyrie in the background, Viking, the first female figure in the Jazzverse line. Really excited to check her out. She's got three alternate faces. She comes with the four bearer pickaxe, the Valkyrie wing back bling. She's got a piece of cake, which was from Fortnite's one year anniversary celebration. She comes with a burst assault rifle, as well as a regular pistol. She's got 38 points of articulation. Says there are eight pieces, although I'm not going to lie, I think I count a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then really you should count the face on her as well. That would be nine. Valkyrie posed up at the bottom side. She's just standing there. Other side, really exact same thing. On the back here, you can see Valkyrie standing there, and you can see some other figures in Series 2. We've got Tomato Head, Jonesy, DJ Yonder, Leviathan, and Abstract, and more coming soon, and more have already dropped. At the bottom here, there's the barcode in case anyone needs it, as well as a bunch of credits. So with no further ado, let's open her up. And this figure was just one of many for a big Fortnite haul today. Between hitting one Target, one Walmart, I got everything I'm looking for, and I'm now fully caught up on the line. All right, now that we got this figure out of the package, here she is with all of her accessories laid out. Now I must say, this was one of the Jazzwares Fortnite figures I was looking forward to the most. Part of that is because she was part of Series 2, and the rest of Series 2 came out a while ago. We did not get her for quite some time. Finally got pictures of her, but still no release. I'm happy to finally have her in hand. And frankly, I must say, she looks pretty good as well. And she's also Jazzwares' first female figure. So I was really curious to see how they're going to handle that. All her accessories laid out. She's got her pickaxe, back bling, three faces, a consumable item, which is a birthday cake piece, which gives you five health points. Also a pistol and a burst assault rifle. But before we look at them, let's check out this actual figure. So look at her face there. That looks great. All these different shades. Dark blue in her lips and eyes. Light blue in her eyebrows. She's got that tear up top. Kind of reminds me of a Shredder's helmet in her hair, the braids look great, the sculpt looks good, all these different shades of blue, light blue, dark blue, just looking really, really nice. She's sort of like an ice viking with these big shoulder pads here, some armor on the chest, spikes on the gloves, looks like she's got a little skull here on the side, a little dagger here that's not removable. More armor down here, just the detail looks good. I like it a lot, even her feet look pretty good. Looks like they did an excellent job with this figure. And then here she is, broken down as far as she can go with all of her removable parts detached. Next, let's check out her accessories, starting with her faces. And then here's a close-up look at all three of her faces. The one on the far left is the default face that she came with in the package. Sort of her standard look. In the middle here, her eyebrows are raised up. She's looking a little bit more curious or interested. And then on the third one there, she's smiling, clearly happy about something. Here's her first head, sort of regular looking. Here's her second head, where she seems interested in something, maybe she sees an opportunity. And then her third and final head, she's smiling, grinning, got that sort of look to her, like maybe she just killed somebody, or possibly even won the game. 
Next, let's look at her back bling. This thing is called the Valkyrie Wings. Obviously, it's a pair of wings. Attaches to the figure with a peg that goes into a peg hole in her back. Pretty cool looking. And then here she is wearing her back bling. And then here's her back bling next to all the different Jazzwares legendary back blings they've made so far. And each one of them is interchangeable with each of the Jazzwares figures. And here are all the different back blings between both Jazzwares and McFarlane. Unfortunately, these back blings are not interchangeable between the both lines as the thickness of the peg is different. And here are several different Jazzwares figures wearing each other's back blings, showing that they are customizable between all the Jazzwares figures. And even though I wish they were, like I said before, the back blings are not interchangeable between Jazzwares and McFarlane. They're done with the same style, a peg going to the peg hole in their back, but the thickness is different on the Jazzwares and McFarlane figures. Here's Valkyrie's back bling with Jazzwares. Then here's a McFarlane back bling, a lot thinner of a peg. If you take the Jazzwares figure and try to put the McFarlane back bling into there, it's way too thin, it fits, but it'll fall right out. In a turn, if you take the McFarlane figure and try to put the Jazzwares back bling into it, it's way too fat, it will never fit no matter how hard you try. Now let's take a look at our harvesting tool, or more commonly referred to as the pickaxe. This one is called the Four Bearer. Now this is a first time release from Jazzwares, but McFarlane has released their version of the Four Bearer already. It's really just a big giant axe, wooden handle, a lot of sculpting design in the blade. And here's her Four Bearer pickaxe in the back, next to the McFarlane Four Bearer pickaxe in the front. This one came with the Prisoner from McFarlane. Here she is holding her pickaxe and then she's walking down the street. Here's a chest behind the brick wall here. She's going to go ahead and chop it down, gain some brick and break through at the same time. It looks like she exposed that chest, making all that noise. Now to see what's inside. It looks like her chest contained a burst assault rifle, a 50 pot and some grenades. And here's her pickaxe next to all the different pickaxes Jazzwares has released for the Legendary series so far. And here are all the different pickaxes released by both McFarlane and Jazzwares. And I'm happy to say these are interchangeable between both lines. And here are several different Jazzwares figures holding each other's pickaxes, showing that they are interchangeable between the Jazzwares figures. And then here are some Jazzwares figures holding the McFarlane pickaxes and some McFarlane figures holding the Jazzwares pickaxes showing you they're interchangeable between both lines. Next let's check out her weapons. She comes with both a burst assault rifle and a pistol. This is the first time that Jazzwares has made a burst assault rifle. McFarlane Toys made one a little while back for their Havoc figure. And this is the first time they've released a standard pistol. They've released hand cannons, dual pistols, all kind of other pistols. So both of these are new weapons to the Jazzwares line. And here's the Jazzwares burst assault rifle in the back, compared with the McFarlane version on the bottom. The McFarlane one is a little bit larger. And here's her pistol on the left, next to a hand cannon from Jazzwares on the right. These guns are almost the same but I notice the trigger area is a little bit different I can definitely tell this is supposed to be a common pistol versus a hand cannon and here are all the different pistols that I've gotten between McFarlane and Jazzwares the left two columns are from Jazzwares we've got the scoped magnum six shooter the silenced pistol and then the dual pistols regular pistol then a hand cannon and then the right hand side, the McFarlane pistols, got a six shooter, a hand cannon, and a flint knock. Here she is holding her burst assault rifle.
And here she is holding her pistol. As you can see, her finger kind of fits into the trigger area, giving you a snug fit there. And even though it's not game accurate, you can have her holding both weapons at the same time. And here are all the different weapons that Jazzwares has released so far for their Legendary Collection. And here are all the different guns they've made between McFarlane and Jazzwares for the Fortnite Collection, not including the guns that both companies have made. And then here are several different Jazzwares figures holding each other's weapons, showing they're interchangeable between each figure. And then here are a couple of Jazzwares figures holding McFarlane weapons and McFarlane figures holding Jazzwares weapons, showing you this accessory is also interchangeable between both lines. Next, let's check out her slice of cake. This is a consumable item that will give you a tiny bit of health. This was available during Fortnite's one year anniversary. There would be really large birthday cakes with a bunch of slices of cake around them, and they give you five health points each. You see it's on a plate purple, there's a frosting on the back, and a little bit of some birthday cake color on the back side. I can find a lot of different uses for a slice of cake in my action figure world. Here she is holding the slice of cake. Now this slice has a slot in the bottom where you can slide her fingers into, giving you some stability there. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at her accessories, Next, let's check out some other accessories or vehicles you can use to enhance your Fortnite collection. Here she is, riding in the McFarlane Fortnite shopping cart, getting ready to blast some people with her burst assault rifle. And here's how she would look if she were the one pushing the shopping cart instead. I think these Jazzwares figures scale up great with this McFarlane shopping cart. Here she is, driving the McFarlane Quad Crasher. She scales up with it nicely, feet on the pedal, butt on the seat. Here she is riding on the back of the quad crasher, shooting her weapon. The pegs even fit into the peg holes on her feet, keeping her up there pretty stable. Here she is next to a couple of the McFarlane glider and launch pad combo sets. She scales up pretty nicely so far. Here she is, getting ready to take the launch pad and glide away. And yes, she does work out pretty good with the McFarlane glider. I actually thought this was a great glider for her, being the Frostwing, an ice-themed glider. She's sort of an ice viking, and it seems to work out pretty well. And then here she is on one of the more normal, regular-looking gliders. And then here she is next to a treasure chest. This chest is a little bit oversized next to her. This is actually from the same company made her Jazzwares, and it's intended for the four inch scale figures. And you might think to yourself, that's crazy, it's too big for the six inch figures. How could this be for the four inch figures? It's not really meant to be scale accurate. This was an accessory pack. It came packed full of weapons and building materials on the inside. And even though it's a little bit too large next to her, since treasure chests are such a big part of the game, I'm happy to have one for display with my figures. Here she is next to a llama. Obviously this isn't from Jazzwares or McFarlane, it's just a stuffed animal that I found at Walmart. And even though it's a little bit too large next to her, llamas have sort of become a staple of the game, and I'm happy to have one that's at least at the remote ballpark of the right size. Here she is next to a campfire, getting ready to heal up. This campfire came from a NECA Friday the 13th Jason action figure, and I thought it was just perfect for my Jazzwares and McFarlane Fortnite figures. Here she is with a can of spray paint, getting ready to tag a wall. Now that we've taken a pretty good in-depth look at her accessories and some other accessories you can use to enhance her and your Fortnite collection, next let's check out the height of this figure. So from bottom to top, the top of her head about six and a quarter inches, the top of that spike about six and a half inches, showed up being just about 16 centimeters tall. Next, let's check out her articulation. So her back bling here, it can rotate around a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that thing out of the way. Her face is also removable, as shown before. Her head can rotate from side to side. 
Can't really look up any further than this, but it can look down a whole lot. Shoulders are on a ball joint. Then go out more than 90 degrees. You may notice our shoulder pads here are the soft material. You can just move out of the way as needed. Ball joint here. In addition to that, there's another bit of articulation between the ball joint shoulder and the chest area. I believe this is called a butterfly joint. Allows you to get a ton of range of motion. A lot of different poses to imitate those emotes from the game. Below that, she does have a bicep cut. She's got double jointed elbows, which are done just fantastically. They can go all the way in. Her wrist can rotate around. It's also hinged. And then she's also got finger articulation to hold her weapons. She's got a ball joint right above my fingernail here. It allows her to rotate from side to side and then go in and out quite a bit, giving her a very large range of motion here. I believe that she has little bit of waist swivel here below that. Can't really get it to do too much though. Legs go out about this far. They would be able to go more, but she's got this sort of loincloth or skirt type thing here. They're on a ball joint side of there. Go forward about that far on that leg. About the same on the other one. And then back, really not too much. She does have a thigh cut below that. She's got double jointed knees, go absolutely all the way back. Then her foot here, of course it can go up and down, can rotate from side to side. She does have toe articulation as well. Next, let's check her out compared to some other action figures, starting with some other Fortnite figures. Now, I said earlier that this was the first female figure from Jazzwares, and honestly, between both companies, they haven't made too many female Fortnite figures. Here are all the female figures they've made so far, and all three of these are made from McFarland toys. That's why they're a little bit taller than Valkyrie. And one of the first figures I wanted to put her next to was Ragnarok here. These guys just look like they're meant to be together. They both look like ice-themed Vikings to a point. And here she is next to all the different ice-themed Fortnite figures that I'm aware of. We've got the Ice King, the Prisoner, Valkyrie, Ragnarok, and the Frostwing. Here she is next to the most recently released Fortnite figures that I've gotten from Jazzwares. First we've got the Black and White Skull Trooper. He's a variant. I believe him to be part of the third series of figures. Then Peely and Valkyrie. Valkyrie is actually part of Series 2, and all the rest of these guys are from Series 3. Next we've got Rustlord, Raven, and Molten Battlehound. And here she is next to the entire Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Collection. And here she is next to the entire collection of McFarlane Fortnite figures. And then here are all the Fortnite figures that I've gotten multiples of. You may wonder why. I got each of the wild cards, the full set, Jazzwares and McFarland to use my Royal Flesh Gang in my DC action figure world. I got four of each Skull Trooper to use as Scarecrow Henchmen in my Batman world. I got two Crack Shots to use as Toy Man Henchmen in my DC action figure world. And I got four Rabbit Raiders and four Night Hairs to use as Mad Hatter Henchmen in my Batman world. And then here she is in a huge battle royale with all of my Fortnite figures. As you can see here, they're driving around, they're shooting each other, they're healing, they're gliding, they're getting loot, they're sniping, they're throwing and shooting explosives. They're all trying to see who can get the most kills and more importantly, who can get the win. And the way her mask is shaped definitely kind of reminded me of Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or these Enforcer Predator figures. Next, let's check her out compared with some other action figure lines to see how she fits in both scale and style wise. Here she is next to some DST or Diamond Select Toys action figures. And here she is next to some McFarlane Toys action figures. 
And here she is, next to some NECA figures. Here she is, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles action figures. Then here she is, next to some Mattel wrestling figures. And here she is, next to some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. Here she is, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. Here she is, next to some Mafex action figures. Then, here she is, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And then, here she is, next to some SH Figure Arts action figures. So overall, this is a pretty nice figure. I must say I'm very pleased to finally get her and to have her in hand. She delivered on everything I was hoping for. If I were to rate this figure, I'd go ahead and give her an 8 out of 10. She is the first female figure from Jazzwares, and I sure hope there's going to be another one coming soon. They really, really knocked this one out of the park. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it in the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Keep your eye out for the rest of the reviews from the recent Fortnite Jazzwares releases. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys real soon.